Three ways to grow a photography business in 2023. As frustrating as it is, taking great photos is not enough to grow a photography business. After 13 years of running my own studio, I have learned a lot about what works and a whole lot about what doesn't. So stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna teach you three ways to grow your photography business in 2023. And stick around for my bonus point because this one is what's going to amplify the rest of them over time. So they might work really cool now, but they'll be 10 times better because of this bonus. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I am a boudoir photographer in Silicon Valley, California. I've been doing this since 2010. And as I said, I have learned a lot about what doesn't work, but I've also learned what does. And this was a philosophy from Benjamin Franklin when he was inventing the light bulb. Uh, he was competing with other people, trying to get it done. And there was one famous experiment where a buddy came over to his house and the light bulb just exploded. They were both injured. And the guy was like losing his mind. Uh, the friend, he's like, what are you doing? You're trying to kill us? What do you even think this is worth it? Just going off on Ben Franklin for this. And he goes over to his diary and he writes down some notes and it's number like 999. That's the attempt that he's on. And the guy was like, oh, so you've just found 9,999 ways to fail. He's like, no, nah, I didn't fail. I've just learned 999 ways that don't work yet. And, and that's the mindset. You go into it with everything you do is an experiment. And if it doesn't work, you figure out why, and then you make adjustments and then it will work. So these are three tried and true ways that you can grow a business in 2023. Number one with social media, number two with email, and number three with paid ads. Now you're thinking, yeah, I know, I need all three of those things, but stay with me. I'm gonna tell you what's working right now. And again, number four, when I get to the end, is gonna make all of these even that much more valuable for you. So number one, social media. Firstly, there have never been more platforms than there are right now, but you don't need to be on all of them. Choose one, get really good at it, put a bunch of time into it, build up an audience, start getting leads from it, then you can expand to other ones. And you're thinking, well, I don't even know which one to start on. Well, where is your audience? If they're all on TikTok, Start on TikTok and you don't have to do stupid dance videos, I promise you. If they're all on Instagram, cool, jump on Instagram. If they're on Facebook, great. If you're a boudoir photographer, they're probably not on Snapchat, uh, but who knows, maybe your audience is. Either way, find out where they're actually hanging out. Not where like some of them might be hanging out, but where are there enough clients for you that you can actually bring in a solid amount of business. And probably between TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, that's gonna be your jam right there. And create real content. And by that, I mean, people are tired of seeing influencers. They're tired of seeing things that aren't real, something they can't connect with. So you can create genuine relationships with your followers by actually writing captions that come from your heart and that speak to them. It's not about how beautiful your client is or how much fun you have when you're doing a photo shoot or any of that superficial BS. You need to connect with them and get real. Like why are your clients actually booking a boudoir session? I wrote a post the other day about a client who'd come in, she was about to have a double mastectomy and we were doing this photo shoot because she wanted to honor her body and celebrate the last time that her body was going to be whole as it was before, before she goes in for the surgery. And then we're gonna do another one after the reconstructive surgery to celebrate the new iteration of her body so that she can start to love that version of herself as well. I booked work from that. I had people calling me that week that were like, oh my gosh, my sister is going through this. I wanna book a session. Let me connect you. And I've, I've brought in work because of that post, because it's real. It's not about how cool did my client look, how talented a photographer I am. I spoke to the heart and that is what is working nowadays. People don't want all perfect, polished, unattainable in their mind images. They want it to be real. And they want it to feel like it's for them. 
So figure out how you can connect with your audience in the place where they are. All right, number two, email marketing. Absolutely not dead. And again, this one is specifically gonna get really, really good when you apply point number four. Email's not dead. I don't care who says that. If you go on to any major retailer's website, they're always gonna give you a pop-up. It's like 10% off your first order if we can have your email. Do you think everyone would be asking for it still if it wasn't valid? No, given just because everyone's doing doesn't mean it's a good idea. In this scenario, it absolutely is collect emails. As boudoir photographers, we post some spicy content. Our content can get flagged and it is so easy for us to lose our social media accounts, especially TikTok. They are very, very strict with the kind of content we're allowed to post. You might have 100,000 followers because you had a handful of posts go viral and things are looking good, your phone's ringing off the hook. Someone flags one of your posts, your account gets shut down, you cannot get it back, you cannot appeal it, and now all of it's gone. Yes, you can do it again, but now you have to do it again. Your email list is always yours. Unless you're doing some real shady stuff with it, no one's gonna take it away from you. So if we're, again, same sort of communication as the social media content. Send people content they actually want to read. It's not a newsletter about how many sessions you've done or what kind of gear you use or how pretty your most recent client is. They don't care. Answer their questions. Why are people nervous about doing a photo shoot? What do they need to know to prepare for a photo shoot? Who is it even for? What sort of price range should they expect? How do they even pick a photographer? How to know if you're even the right photographer for them? That is all email content. And when someone goes onto your website, they're never gonna click a link that says, oh yeah, I totally wanna be a part of their newsletter. No, but if you can give them how to pick the perfect outfit for any body type in a boudoir session, they're gonna click on that. They're gonna give you their email and the emails that you send them after that, which are all automated, you're not doing any of this manually, will answer their questions, will nurture that relationship, will invite them into conversations, and they will book you over time. So it might not get clients in your door immediately, but this is a long-term game. I'm sure you plan to stay in business longer than the next month. So if you can do something now that books you clients in six months, that's peace of mind knowing that in six months, your calendar is gonna be full. That is a win right there. That's why you should be on email, giving people something they actually want. And don't be afraid of the unsubscribe. If somebody unsubscribes from your list, they're not gonna book you anyway, let them go. All right, number three is paid ads. This is where most of my own new business comes from. Given I do a lot of different things to market my business, I have a lot of referrals, a lot of repeat clients, things like that. Majority of my new clients come from paid traffic, and that's Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and Google AdWords. They all serve different purposes, but I can run a campaign, spend $1,000 on it, like I just did last month, uh, March of 2023, I ran a campaign for International Women's Day, offered a promotional, you know, half off session fee for anyone who booked during the month, you had six months to do your photo shoot. And I booked almost 50 grand in business and it cost me $1,000 in ad spend. Whereas the year before I spent about a thousand and I booked 75 shoots. Uh, I've had other campaigns where, what did I spend? 1,600 back in 2021, and I booked almost $300,000 in business. Given for every one of those campaigns I run where I'll make 50 grand spending 1,000, I might spend 100 to $200 on the campaign and not book anybody, and I'll do that 10 times. So it might cost me 2,000 in experiment costs, but I know that the 10th one, maybe sooner, is gonna kick, and I'm more than gonna make up for that. I will happily spend an extra 2,000 to know that my total of 3,000 in ad spend will bring me 50,000. Like that is real simple math right there. And things are always changing. Campaigns that work now probably aren't gonna work next month. And things that didn't work now might fill up my calendar for the next 12 months if I run them in a few weeks. It's crazy, I don't know why. I, I No marketer will be able to tell you that. It's just how marketing goes. So we have to be constantly experimenting, trying new things and being open to it. If you boost a post for $5, you don't book anyone and say that Facebook ads don't work, you've already given up, go ahead and go apply for a job somewhere. You have to have the mindset of experimenting, of trying and of learning, then you're going to thrive. So. If you're like, that's cool, I don't know how to do any of this stuff, boudoirguild.com in the marketing course, I walk you through all of these things. 
And I teach you enough to be dangerous because I introduce you to people in the Boudoir Guild course also who can run your AdWords, your Facebook ads, do your SEO, all of that for you. But you need to know enough to know how to guide them, how to uh, measure results and what you're even hiring them for. So again, boudoirguild.com, check out the marketing course, teach you everything in there that I'm doing to bring in multiple six figures of revenue. Okay, point number four. This is the one that I promised is going to just blow up the first three. You ready? Reflect and refine. Yep, that's the secret sauce, reflection and refinement. When you do anything, 30 days of social media content, an email series, uh, an ad campaign, any of that, how did it go? What could you do better? What are you not going to do next time? Whether it worked or whether it didn't doesn't matter because this conscious effort is what's going to allow you to spot patterns. Oh, hmm. Every time I do this thing, I generate more leads, but when I don't do it, I don't book as many clients. Maybe it's a way that you automate. Maybe it's a certain greeting you have. Maybe it's how quickly do you respond to a lead when they come in. Track all of these things, and it's really easy to do. And you don't have to stay on top of it minute by minute. Give yourself a week. Give yourself a month of doing a certain kind of thing, and then sit down, look at what you've been doing, look at the results you got, make notes, and then next time you go to run a campaign, you're like, cool, let me flip back through my notebook. Oh, the last five times I've tried these things, None of that worked, but I got more leads when I did this. Let me do another version of that. And then things are going to grow for you so much faster. And then soon you won't even have to write things down. You'll just know the patterns and be able to recreate your successes quicker and cheaper. That is pretty darn good. So there you go. Three ways to grow your photography business in 2023 using social media with real content emails with real content, and paid traffic not being afraid to experiment a little bit because almost 0% chance you're going to nail any of these things your first time. I really hope you do, but just be realistic. It's trial and error. Everything marketing is. So get out there, try those new things, and then reflect and refine. And again, if you're like, that's cool, Mike, but I don't even know how to set up an email list or what do I even run for Facebook ads? Cool. Head to boudoirguild.com, check out the marketing course, and I will show you exactly what I do. Easy peasy. I've got other videos on how to bring in clients, some more philosophy on paid traffic versus organic. All that good stuff is on this channel. So pretty sure you'll become a better photographer instantly if you subscribe to my channel. Definitely recommend that. And if you have any questions about any of this, post them in the comments below. I am happy to help. You are amazing. See you inside.